Hello and welcome back to Law Logical, your weekly dose of the basics of law. Here on Law Logical, we simplify the laws of the land in the most subtle way, making legal concepts easy and accessible for everyone. As part of our ongoing series on the 18 stages of a civil suit under the Civil Procedure Code 1908, we're walking you through each stage week by week. Today, we'll dive into the third stage, Appearance of Parties. The stage of appearance of parties follows the service of summons. Once the defendant receives the summons, both the plaintiff and defendant are required to appear in court on the date mentioned in the summons. This stage is pivotal because it marks the formal entry of both parties into the court proceedings. Why is appearance important? The appearance of parties is more than just a procedural step, it's where the litigation gains momentum. It's the first opportunity for the court to address both parties and understand their initial positions. Under Order 9 of the CPC, both parties must appear personally or through their legal representatives on the specified date. Here we find ourselves in a typical courtroom setting with both the plaintiff and the defendant present. The stage is set for the legal proceedings to unfold. Let's talk about the consequences of non-appearance. What happens when one of the parties doesn't show up for their court date? This is where things get interesting. If the plaintiff doesn't appear, the court may dismiss the suit under Order 9, Rule 2. On the other hand, if the defendant doesn't appear despite being properly served, the court can proceed ex parte under Order 9, Rule 6, meaning the case continues without their participation. In certain situations, a judge may declare an ex parte order. This means that the decision is made in the absence of one party, typically because they failed to appear in court. But there are exceptions. If either party provides a valid reason for their absence, the court can adjourn the hearing or even reinstate a dismissed suit under Order 9, Rule 9 for plaintiffs and Order 9, Rule 13 for defendants, provided sufficient cause is shown. And now let's dive into some real-world examples from case law. Indian courts have frequently dealt with cases of non-appearance. For instance, in the case of GP Srivastava v. R.K. Raizada, Back in the year 2000, the Supreme Court reiterated the importance of sufficient cause for setting aside an ex parte decree. This case emphasized that courts must balance procedural rules with justice when considering reasons for non-appearance. Moving on, let's discuss some practical challenges. In practice, ensuring the appearance of parties can be challenging. Defendants might intentionally avoid court dates, or logistical issues might arise for plaintiffs. This is why proper documentation and legal representation are crucial at this stage. So, to summarize, the appearance of parties is a crucial turning point in any civil suit. It ensures both sides are present, setting the stage for fair and transparent proceedings. The rules under Order 9 of the CPC are designed to balance procedural efficiency with fairness, making sure every party gets their day in court. If you found this video useful, please like, share and subscribe to Law Logical. Have questions about the appearance of parties stage? Drop them in the comments below and we'll address them in upcoming videos. Stay tuned as we continue breaking down the 18 stages of a civil suit. Until next time, stay informed and stay empowered with Law Logical. Thank you for watching.